Get your free trial of our training for lawyers at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers. You can enable classes within QuickBooks in order to classify all transactions for reporting purposes. As used within law firms, classes often represent individual lawyers, partners, or departments within the firm. You can then create reports within QuickBooks that can detail transaction amounts by class. So for example, you can easily review the income earned by a particular law firm partner by using classes. You could also generate a report that lists all transactions classified as being attributed to a specified lawyer. However, before you can create the classes, you must first enable class tracking within QuickBooks. To enable class tracking within QuickBooks, select Edit from the menu bar, then choose the Preferences command to open the Preferences window. Then select the Accounting icon at the left side of the window. In the area to the right, click the Company Preferences tab, and then check the Use Class Tracking for Transactions checkbox. You should also check the Prompt to Assign Classes checkbox below that to remind the person that performs data entry within QuickBooks to classify all transactions entered. When finished, click the OK button to enable classes. Next, you enter the partners and or departments into the class list within QuickBooks. You can open this list by selecting Lists from the menu bar, then choosing the Class List command. Within the Class List window, you can see two default classes that will be shown. You can rename these two classes if desired by simply editing the classes, or you can delete them and create new classes for your law firm. To edit a class that is shown, select the class to change within the Class List window, then click the Class button in the lower left corner of the window, and select the Edit Class command from the pop-up menu that appears. Within the Edit Class window, you can then enter a new description for the selected class into the Class Name text box, and then click the OK button to approve your change when finished. To delete a class shown in the window that has not been used in any transactions, you can select the class to delete, and then click the Class button in the lower left corner of the window. You would then select the Delete Class command from the pop-up menu that appears. In the Delete Class Confirmation dialog box that then appears on screen, you can click the OK button to confirm deleting the selected class. If you wish to create a new class, simply click the Class button in the lower left corner of the Class List window, and then select the New command from the pop-up menu that appears. In the New Class window, enter the name of the partner or department into the Class Name text box. Optionally, note that if you wish to make this new class a subclass of another class that you have created, for example, the individual lawyers within a department, you would then check the Subclass of checkbox and use the adjacent drop-down menu to select the main class underneath which the current entry will be classified. When you've finished creating the new class item, click the OK button to add the new class to your class list. In the future, when entering transactions into QuickBooks, you will see a new Class drop-down menu appear within your transaction forms. You can then select the desired value from the drop-down to classify the transactions as needed. If you enabled the Prompt to Assign Classes checkbox within the Preferences window, any unclassified transaction that you create will prompt you to classify it before closing the transaction window if you accidentally save an unclassified transaction in the future. This creates a valuable double check to ensure appropriate classifying of transactions for accurate reporting in the future. Like what you see? Get your free trial of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers.